All right, I want to discuss one of the most critical components of the video array ROV submersible, which is what we call the cartridge seal. The cartridge seal serves two major functions on the vehicle. Number one, it keeps water out of the pressure hulls. Number two, it lubricates the motor shafts that come out to spin the propellers when the motor is engaged from the hand controller. There are three of these located on the submersible two on the horizontal thrusters and one on the vertical thruster. Now this cartridge seal is the same throughout all of our models, the Pro 4, the old Pro 3 GTOs and Pro 3s, the Explorer and the Scout models. So they're all, they all work on the same sub. Why is the cartridge seal important? Why do we need to pay attention to it? Uh, and what happens when this thing runs dry? Well, we're gonna cover that. So basically what we have here uh, is an oil-filled cartridge and that is going to go over the motor shaft. We're going to take the props off and show you how to do this. Stick, uh, sticks in the back, it snaps in with some O-rings, uh, and basically lubricates your shaft every time it spins, the, the horizontals and the verticals, when they're engaged by the hand controller. So over time, this food grade oil in this cartridge is going to dissipate uh, as it lubricates the shafts. So it's very important to keep your eye on it because when this thing runs dry, there's nothing between the water uh, and, the, and the pressure hole. There's no, nothing stopping the water from getting in, uh, since there is a little hole inside of this that the oil is coming through. So we designed it very simply to be visually inspectable. Uh, what does that mean? When you have a brand new seal, and you'll take a look at them uh, when it's delivered to you, uh, you'll either see nothing or you'll see a very, very tiny bubble, air bubble that's at the top of them. Uh, new seals either will have either very small bubble uh, or they're so full, like this one here. I'm not sure how, how well you can see it, but uh, you won't see any bubble. Uh, we'll show a visual uh, cut into this video to give you a better idea. Um, so over time, as the oil is, is being used to lubricate the shaft, uh, that bubble is going to grow bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, it's, it's very easy to see and as time goes on you'll understand what I'm talking about. Um, now when that bubble gets to be about three quarters, uh, the oil's three quarters of the way used up inside this seal, it's probably a good idea to change it. Um, so what happens when it runs dry? If, if you don't pay attention it runs dry, you risk water uh, coming in through the seal, uh, up the shaft and into the, uh, the pressure hole. So it's very important to keep an eye on these things. Now how long do they last is a question that we usually get. Um, there's no real straight answer to that. Uh, it depends on a, a number of things. How hard you're engaging the motors, like how, how much power you're giving uh, the motors at any given time. Uh, is there constant downforce, constant down thrust being used, or constant up thrust being used, say if you're uh, inspecting a ship hull. Uh, so it varies. Um, the harder you drive them, obviously the more oil and the quicker they're going to wear. Uh, so there's no like set number of hours they last. Some people will tell you 100 hours. Uh, I've seen them last much less than that. I've seen them last much more than that. So it just depends. Uh, also depends on what kind of contaminations in the water. If there's a lot of fine particulates that could uh, somehow get inside of here, uh, they could go go bad and uh, run dry quicker as well. So very important to keep your eye on these uh, that bubble on there. It's very easy to see. Um, so check your seals out right when you get them. You should see a very tiny kind of pinhole bubble um, or, or sometimes nothing at all because they're so full. But as you start using them, you'll see, uh, see those bubbles start to form. So uh, you will have one spare cartridge seal uh, in your toolkit that's delivered with you, um, delivered with your vehicle. You can also buy these in, as singles or, uh, or in packs of three uh, on the Video Ray website and we'll ship those right to you. But it's always a, a good idea to have a couple of backups of these um, in case you need them. So there's nothing uh, more critical than keeping water outside of your sub. If you get water inside, bad things happen. Um, you can imagine water and electronics don't necessarily mix. So I'm gonna show you how to change one of these right now. Uh, you'll need, you'll need a, an extra seal, obviously, and you'll need the 7 16 nut driver that comes in your basic toolkit that's delivered with your vehicle. Now we're going to do, we'll, we'll do one of these uh, so I can show you how to change it. 
do one of the horizontals and I'll do the vertical since it's a little bit different. So first thing you want is a, is a nice flat work area, preferably non-slip uh, so your vehicle won't slide off the floor. Um, you usually have a paper towel or something around these. These seals are shipped with a gel uh, inside uh, of the, uh, the hole here. Um, and that's so the oil won't leak out during shipping. If you some, happen to get a seal and you open it, a brand new one from the factory, and there's no gel in it, which shouldn't shouldn't happen, but if it somehow does uh, and there's no oil in it, let us know and we'll, we'll ship you another one. It doesn't happen very often. Sometimes temperature can affect that gel, but not very common. Anyways, you're going to notice uh, a black line inside your cartridge seal on the brass that's in there. Let's see if I can get close enough so you can see that. Uh, it's just a black sharpie marker and that's going to indicate that the, that part needs to point down to, towards the ground, towards the bottom, because that's where the hole is. There's a, a, a pinhole in there that the oil comes through to, uh, to lubricate the shaft. So if it's up, if it's pointed up, uh, it's not going to be as effective. Uh, so gravity is basically pulling the oil down onto the shaft while it's spinning uh, and lubricating it. So, so get your seal ready and your 7 16th nut driver. And this is a fairly simple process. You just want to get your finger in there. Now these props can be sharp. Let me zoom out a little bit here. These props tend to be sharp so if you want to you know grab a microfiber towel or something like that to, to jam in there you can. Um, basically we're just going to hold that prop from spinning and just twist until the, uh, the nut comes out. It shouldn't be very very hard. So your acorn nut's going to come out and now basically you just want to pull off the propeller. Now there's, there's three pieces to the prop. There's a collet that's going to grab the inside or grab the shaft when it's screwed down tight, the prop itself, and the acorn nut that holds it on. So there's only one way the collet can go in there until it's flush. And that's the slide, the side that slides onto the motor shaft when you're ready for that step. Okay, so now that we have the prop off, uh, you can see our seal here. Okay, and this basically just a little twist and it pops out, it breaks the seal, that o-ring, when you pull it straight off the shaft. Okay, and then I'm not going to do it here, but you insert the new one because a bunch of messy gel is going to slide out the bottom so you want to make sure you have a paper towel on hand. Alright, so find that black line, sharpie line, and we're going to make sure that that's pointing down. Okay, and you're just going to slide it in until you feel, feel it uh, set in there nice and snug. You hear like a little snap. That's just the o-ring setting in uh, where it should be. And we're going to reinstall the prop. Okay, so make sure your collet is, is inside the propeller. That's going to slide on. Acorn nut back on top. Okay, at this point you probably have to use two hands to make sure the prop doesn't turn. Make it finger tight. And then we just want to nip the bolt. We don't want to, you know, crank it down super hard. We just want to just make it nice and snug. Uh, you don't want to completely over crank it there. So make it nice and snug. And you just repeat for the other propeller, the horizontal one. Now I'd suggest that you don't do both at the same time, uh, unless you know what you're doing. Uh, you've done it a bunch of times because these props are are not the same. Um, there's a left hand pitch and a right hand pitch. You can see they're different here. Um, but if you do, just remember what side they came from and, and make sure you put the, the right prop back on the right side uh, or else it will com turn completely wrong when you go to, uh, to pilot it. So that's the horizontal thruster uh, cartridge seal change. I'm going to show you the vertical. It's a little different. And there's a few more pieces here. So uh, again, we're just going to use our 716th nut driver. 
just get it on top and just going to hold that prop till the uh, the nut cracks on it. Same deal as the back one, just a simple acorn nut. Three pieces again, though this prop is much smaller. All right, now we have one more piece to get through till we get to the cartridge seal on the vertical. It's what we call a vertical splitter. Um, it's a piece of molded plastic that what happens is that when the vertical propeller is spinning, it channels the water away uh, from these grooves between the thruster tubes and the main hull, so it makes it much more efficient in surfacing and diving. And that simply just pulls right off the top. So now we have access to our vertical cartridge seal. Uh, same deal, just give it a little twist until it breaks that, that o ring breaks that seal. Make sure you don't have greasy hands. same deal slide off now this one it doesn't matter where that that black line is since there's the gravity isn't playing a role up here with the um, with the oil coming out of the cartridge seal um, it's a good idea to check and make sure that there isn't any debris uh, at the bottom here just take a, a microfiber towel or a paper paper towel or something and, and wipe that out salt water tends to get inside here if it's not rinsed very well when you're done with it and uh, can crust up. So just make sure that there's nothing inside there. Make sure your shafts feel feel good, um, that they're not nicked or there's any abrasions on them. That can also cause a cartridge seal to wear faster. Um, if they get bent, sometimes they can get, uh, they can get grooves in them. So pay attention to that kind of stuff. Um, and again, reinstalling is, is as simple as just popping that down so you hear that little click, make sure that the O-ring is, is seated in the bottom there as well. And then we're just going to repeat uh, how we took it apart, put the vertical splitter back on. Okay, if, if this doesn't go back on, you're going to notice it when you're, st you're trying to dive or surface. It's not going to be as efficient or happen as, as, uh, as smooth as it should. Okay, we're going to get our prop. Remember, there's two pieces there. There's the collet and the prop itself fits inside there so it's flush on the bottom. We're going to slide that on until it can't go anymore. And then grab a hold of the prop with a couple fingers. Make the acorn nut finger tight on there. And then again we'll take our 7 16 wrench and hold it and just nip it. Do not over crank again like we did with the back ones. And then reinstall your float. Finger screw there, and that's the cartridge seal change. As you can see, it only took a couple of minutes. Um, it's it's a really slick feature on the video array. Uh, it's something we're very proud of. You know, a lot of other ROVs have you know grease galleys that you have to refill. Uh, it's very labor intensive. It takes a lot of bench time. Um, but you know, you do this a couple of times, and you'll have it down to you know a minute or two for for all three cartridge seals. So. Remember, stock up on cartridge seals, keep a bunch of them in your toolkit, and always keep your eye on them, looking for that bubble uh, in the cartridge seal. And remember, when it gets about a quarter of the oil is left or three quarters of the way empty, change your seal. Don't, you know, be a hero and try to keep it going or run it uh, till the last minute because uh, you never know when, uh, when that thing's going to run out. You can't see it, obviously, if it's underwater. So... Do it always in your pre-dive check and look at it again in your post-dive check uh, and just take good care of your seals uh, and your video array will, will last a long time. So that's cartridge seals.